So today, guys, we are going to go over an encounter with two other players. There's a little bit more than two players. But in this encounter, I want you guys to understand how a Honey Badger works. Honey Badger in Tarkov is basically a Chad and a rat put together, right? Honey Badgers will assault another person. They will harass, harass, harass over and over and over again until they demoralize and defeat, right? The advantages of being a honey badger is that you play at your own pace. You allow others to make mistakes and you kill them. Uh, that's how this type of game style works. You gather info, you find out where they're at, you kill, you harass over and over. Uh, these two guys did some pretty good stuff during the duration of this fight. I'd also like to note that I think there was a couple other people that they encountered as well inside the building. Uh, there was one guy with an attack two that we never were able to relocate, which was fine. Um, you guys are going to see flanking and how and why we do these things. This is going to be a longer video. A lot of it's going to be slow walking and, and just constantly trying to figure out where these guys are. And just, you're going to hear my thoughts as I talk aloud to the stream and also add more commentary in after that, right? Uh, so bear with me, guys. This is not going to be the most exciting gameplay ever. But do keep in mind that with players like me who have very extensive map knowledge and also with some players, these guys honestly did everything right, in my opinion, and how they handled the situation. The only drawback was is that during the final moments of these guys' li their lives, they ended up making the wrong call right? The, the wrong call is you'll see it and you'll understand what I mean. Um, keep in mind guys that extracts, if you don't see, especially over by the river, if there's no green, that means there's no extract. Don't risk it for the biscuit, right? So, but yeah, these guys did really, really well, uh, for, for what happened. So anyway, guys, we're going to get into the raid. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you do leave some comments, leave some likes, if you enjoyed it, uh, l give me some feedback. Let me know if this is stuff you guys would like to watch in the future. Um, this is how I maintain a high survival rate. I'm not a rat. I literally do engage as much as I can, uh, but with limitations. I'm not going to give away my gear, right? Uh, enjoy. Woman ordering pizza. Mm. Oh, what is this? This is a good spawn. I don't care. Good. Men don't care about what's on their pizza. Only women do. That's fine. <laughs> right, Chumba? I mean, like, maybe she got anchovies on the pizza, then we're like, ah, nah, but. You know. Why are we stuck? Why are we here? We are in a late spawn, right? I would do that to myself. <sighs> of course I would do that to myself. So lucky though. So we're throwing nades in order to disrupt them. Try to make them think there's more than just me. How did I not die is the real question. The reality is though, where we messed up is we rushed our shots. Now, 
in the future, when we run up here, we're going to throw a grenade first. Because those guys had no clue where I was at. And as you guys can see, you do not want to throw grenades while running. Because for some reason, it drops them to your feet. I know this bug, and I still did it. And that's what happens when you try to be a little too aggressive. Um, we know one's to our left. We know one's to our right. I should have threw a nade and then engage. Just so you guys know. Oh, no, they're, they're actually in the building, I think. They're either in the building or in here. The reason we think that is because we're here wood noises. Oh look, bunny hopping. Cause that's realistic. So if we would have been running straight in to the doorway, we would have died right there. Uh, but because I don't use traditional entries, I usually survive a lot more of my raids too. Plus, the last known position for the guy we shot at is to our right. This could be good. We're going to have another party coming in. So I'm hearing movement outside to our right. So I'm hoping that they come in through our first floor, but they actually end up going across the way to the east building. They're trying to get to that location to shoot me. Would also like to note, we can hear the team that we initially engaged above us. Not my favorite gun for this type of situation. So these people ran through then. Still got someone on second floor here. He's right here, second floor. He's getting ready to run across. I saw the flashlight on the stairs, so the reason I pre-fired there is to prevent them from pushing down. Oh, we don't have any more nades. I want them to stay second floor or move to third, because that's where I want to engage them. Zero aim is true, yes. He panic fired. He should have just took his time, because I wasn't moving. The emotes. Didn't even hit us in the arm. Or anywhere. Armor is what I meant to say. We're hearing them on wood.
Metal means they're next room over. What I mean by next room over is 308. If you hear jumping on metal, it's either going to be metal above you, or it's going to be the generator that's in the 308, 306 area. That glass noise is them running down the northern stairwell, third floor to second. I think we drop. After clearing the rest of the third floor, we dropped a second. Uh, we heard a little bit of wood movement, meaning someone's this way, most likely. Still the two guys that we're looking for. Just remember guys, slow is smooth, smooth is fast. We know our original targets are still in the building and there's possibly a third party. So we're not trying to give anyone any indicators that we're here until we have to engage them. These guys have to be second floor. Do keep in mind this area and admin and these windows where we are just passing through, you can see through. So if you can see through into them, they can see through There's no way. into your area. No fucking way that they've left already. There might have been one that made it across, but there was still those explosions that happened over here. Hindsight, the sounds we're hearing are probably second floor, and then they probably moved to the roof, which is what you guys will see soon. Very interesting sounds though. Originally I thought they were in this closet to our right, or you know, back out on the balcony where the trash bags are because you can get back there. However, turns out they actually were second floor and then moved to the roof. Such an interesting raid. Where, dude?
So from here I can determine they're above me. Or they're on the balcony to my right. Which is they on the, the roof? We're gonna push the roof. I think they're on the roof. I think they're on the roof. I had that, I hesitated. So what they're doing right there is they're doing cover fire. They were shooting in while each one was bounding back to go down the stairs. This is something we use in the military and even in contracting. The whole time I was worried about them being up top, they should have been flanking. They're not gonna get out of this mother trucker alive. I can assure you that. Unless that, uh, They're going to try to make a run for it. Up in bros. I think we can have to cut them off.
so we know there were two. We just gotta locate the other one. We're still slow walking because we want to be able to hear his finite movement. Someone's above us or behind us. Sorry. I think that's the boss scab above. Alright. Oh, got them both. Hell yeah, bros. That is what I'm talking about. That's a honey badger in action right there. Yeah. I mean, this was kind of a boring raid, right? But I guess, would you post this as a video? Would do you think people would be actually interested in hunting other players like this? That's the real question.